great to have you on the show. Always good to talk to you. And uh, of course, congratulations on the success of LFA. It seems like every card uh, that the UFC has, you guys have four, five, six, seven uh, alum on, on, on the card. So it's amazing to see what you guys have done in, in terms of producing talent. But I understand that you have some news to share with all of us. So without further ado, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know, obviously, like you've mentioned, you know, the, the LFA or the past year, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about uh, um, all the accomplish, uh, accomplishments that we've uh, achieved in the past year, you know, our first year of business, you know, now being last week, I found out we got nominated for a, a event uh, promotion of the year. And uh, recently, we, uh, we just, uh, we just formed a new partnership with London Trust Media. And uh, we're very excited about that because, as as you know, the past year we've had a lot of success, but we've been able to uh, we, we we basically built everything that we built on on pretty much a a skeleton crew. So now with uh, London Trust Media coming in as our partners, um, it's really giving us the backing and 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 the you know basically the backing and 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 the infrastructure to basically build up. Uh, the LFA into what we've always dreamed of. So, you know, we've had a great first year and uh, with this new partnership with London Trust Media, it, you know, there's nothing but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're very excited for the future. Now, when you say new partnership, Ed, what, is, what exactly does that mean? Are, are they now a, a part owner? What, what, could, could you break that down for us, for, yes, for those that may not understand? What does yeah, that mean? Basically, obviously, um, you know, when when the LFA was formed, it was a partnership between RFA and Legacy, and um, London Trust Media came in, and they're the majority owners of the LFA. Now they bought out the Legacy portion of uh, of the um, of the company, and and uh, and they're the majority owners of the LFA now. So they're our, our, our partners, and uh, London Trust Media is you know has a very strong. Um, in the tech world, in the entertainment world. And um, I actually have uh, the CEO of London Trust Media on the phone with me, Ted Kim, and he could talk a little bit about what, you know, London Trust is. Okay. Uh, hey, Ted, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Congratulations really on this. We're really excited. Yeah, thank you. Um, we're really excited. I mean, uh, we're a consumer, you know, technology and media company. Um, and, you know, we've been big fans of, of what Ed and his team have been building at LFA for so long. So to the extent that, you know, our job is to support Ed and his team and sort of stay out of the way and help them really uh, take the business to the next level. So we, we are very, very excited about this. We think that, um, you know, the sky's the limit in terms of potential of what LFA, LFA could do and uh, what Ed himself kind of means to them in the industry as a whole. Um, and like you said, he's a pioneer, and what LFA is doing to really support the business as a whole is something that we feel as though uh, is very, very worthy, worthwhile, and something that um, you know we can really help to take to the next level. Is this your company's uh, first foray into the world of mixed martial arts? And if so, why now? Why at LFA? It is our first uh, step into it. Um, you know, in terms of why now, uh, it really feels as though, you know, obviously there's, there's tremendous uh, support um, around uh, MMA world as a whole and the business. Um, and in terms of why the LFA, it's, it's a great opportunity. And it's a place where we really feel as though we can be helpful. You know, we, we, when, we, when it comes to looking at and evaluating opportunities, um, if we cannot be helpful in terms of growing the business, then it's not really a good fit for us. Um, you know, but in this case, uh, as we talked to um, Ed and got to know him a, you know, a little better, uh, got to know his team better, uh, got to know the business better, we just got really excited about it. And so we feel as though now is the right time, this is the right team uh, to help support. You know, Ariel, we're we're really excited to be partnered up with London Trust because, like I said, we we've been able to do the, everything that we've been able to accomplish. We've been able to do it on a skeleton crew, and now with the backing and and with the infrastructure that we're going to be building, you know, I'm really looking forward to 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 a lot of things. You know, expanding our distribution, building the infrastructure of our team, improving our production, and you know, with that is, is you know, we're really focusing on a lot of things. Some of the things that we want to bring into the LFA. We want to 
issue. We really want to focus on expanding our women's divisions. We, our goal is that over the next, you know, six months, we're going to have at least one to two uh, women's fights on TV um, every show. Um, we're also looking forward to being able to, you know, start to add bonuses in there. We're looking forward to be able to have fight of the night bonuses and and performance of the night bonuses and and really just building this thing up and 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 making it better than it is i mean i'm very happy happy with the accomplishments that we've been able to achieve in the first year of business but i'm not satisfied so now with this with the backing and the infrastructure that london trust is going to be able to provide us i i mean the sky's the limit and ed um, you know hardcore fans um, fans who follow the sport very closely will know that Mick Maynard, who is a matchmaker with the UFC, used to be the owner of of Legacy. Does this now mean that he is no longer affiliated with LFA? Yes, he's he's no longer affiliated with the LFA. Um, everything is on very very good terms. I mean, I'm very happy for him, and what you know. He, but you know, his his time is pretty much you know, taken up by the UFC, you know what I yeah. mean? So, so it, it just made sense uh, for, for everybody to do that. I mean, he, he, he's still, he's still one of the founding members, uh, you know, of, of our company, but uh, he's just, you know, he's going to take a step aside and, and uh, you know, focus all his, uh, put all his uh, focus into the UFC. And, uh, and we're going to try to, you know, take this thing and, and keep building it as we're doing it. Are you still the CEO of the company? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm the CEO, and and actually, Sven has uh, he's became the president. So Sven, Sven, and then Mark Berry is uh, going to become the vice president of talent relations. So, yes, uh, okay. Sven and I, and and Marcos will be running the company, and uh, and um, and yes, Mick Maynard is no longer a part of the company. And are you still uh, with Access TV? Will will all your fights still air on Access TV? Yes, we we're with Access TV. We have a, our television deal with Access TV is until 2021, so we still have about another three, three, three and a half years um, on our deal with Access TV. Okay, and how many events in 2018 do you think you guys will put on LFA? We're gonna do somewhere between 30 and 32 events right now is where we're at. Uh, we wow. did uh, we did actually in 2017 we did 29 we were scheduled to do 30 we ended up doing 29 and this year we're we're scheduled to do about 31 events but you know sometimes dates or we might add a date or we may take one away so right now we're somewhere around 30. Do you like that number? Is is that the sweet spot number or would you like to do more? Would you like to do less? How how do you feel about the number of events per year that you're currently putting on? You know, I, I think the number of events that we're doing is, is a good amount. I think we're capable of doing a few more, but I think, uh, you know, we'll just take each step at a time. I mean, we were able to do 30. I mean, in 2017, when we started, you know, the, the thought of going from doing, you know, 14 shows a year to doing 30 was a, was a very, uh, was a, a pretty, it was a little bit overwhelming at first. I, I, I thought we could do it, but I was always a little bit nervous. And then once I figured out we can do it, and, and like I said, we were able to do it on a skeleton crew this is what i'm excited about now with london trust coming in and being able to back us and be able to help provide um, the infrastructure for us i think it's going to make our our company run much smoother and i believe that you know who knows in 2019 we could be up towards 35 events a year because once we have everything in place and uh and really build a a team um you know, like I said, pound for pound, I feel that we're the best. <laughs> we're, the, we're pound for pound, we're the best organization um, on the planet. You know, you, you look at someone like the UFC, who does you know forty to forty-five events a year domestically and internationally, and they have over three hundred employees. Then you've got uh, someone like. Uh, Bellator, who's doing about 30 to 35 events domestic and internationally, and they probably got somewhere from 80 to 100 employees. And then you look at the LFA, and we've been able to do, you know, 30 events last year, and we were operating on about six to seven employees. So we've definitely been able to um, maximize our workload. So I'm looking forward to building a team and really um, growing. That, that, that's our main focus is growing and keep building what we're doing. From the outside looking in, a lot of things aren't going to change immediately, but all you're going to see is just the production. Uh, everything in our show is just going to get better and better and better as we start adding on people to the team.
might be hard for you to answer this question right now, but how many more people do you think you will add as a result of this new deal? You know, um, I, I, that, that is a hard question to ask. I think we're going to add as many as we need to keep having the company grow and, and build it efficiently. I, like I said, we were able to do all of that with a minimal amount of people, and now I just want to put the right people in the right places. So um, mm-hmm. that, that's a good question. I don't have the exact answer to that, but I think we're going we're gonna to add as many people as needed to make this company run efficiently and keep growing. Okay. Um, and, and right, you know, we've talked about this privately. I ask you this question quite often and, and it comes to mind again right now, um, with the Dana White contender series relaunching in June, it seems like every time an LFA fighter reaches a certain stature, whether it's becoming a champion or just a level of popularity, like say a Nick Newell or a Mackenzie Dern, they get snatched up by the UFC. And and you continue to say you're okay with that. In fact, you're happy. This is good for your business. You like this. Could you explain yes, to is. someone yeah. how, how that is, why that is, why are you happy to have your top stars be taken away from you? Well, because that's what we are. We're the number one developmental organization in the world. That That's what we do. Nobody puts more people in the UFC other than the LFA. I mean, currently we have approximately about almost 20% of their current roster um, are alumni of our event. So that's our goal. I mean, it's kind of like we're, you know, like I always compare it to college football. We're like the college football, you know, I mean, nothing, if, if college, if some guy, if I have a college football and, you know, they have a, a fighter has a, cho- or, or an athlete has a choice to go to the NFL or to Canadian football, like that's up to them. But we've provided the platform and we've given them the experience for, for whenever they move up to that next level in their career, hopefully the foundation and, and the experience we've given them, they'll be able to succeed. And that, I think, is the biggest part. Um, what I'm happy about doing with the LFA is and when I look at an athlete as a block wall, like I, 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 I just hope to be one or two of those blocks in, in their wall of success. And, and I feel that the LFA, you know, when the athletes come from the LFA, the experience they get with doing media interviews, the experience that they get from having cameras, lights in their face, I mean, that's that's why I feel that we have such a high retention rate inside the UFC because the guys come in there. It's not like they're just fighting in a ballroom. They, they, they're fighting in a big show. They're, they're getting the experience of media. They're getting the cameras in their faces. So when they step up into the big show, it's not such a shock to them. And that's what we try to do is give them a good base, a good experience. So when they step up to the next level in their career, that's what we like to do. And, and nothing makes me happier than seeing, you know, just this past weekend, we have Andrea Lee, who, mm-hmm. you know, was our flyweight, um, our women's flyweight champion, go out there and have her UFC debut. And she went out and got the perform uh, fight of the night bonus. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I don't have the actual stats of this year, but just about every show, it always seems that anytime one of our athletes competes in the UFC, they're winning some sort of fight of the night bonus or, or, or performance of the night bonus. And, and, and I'd like to think that the experience we give them have really helped them get to that point. And, and, and you feel like you get like this doesn't hurt your business. Like it's one thing to say like, yeah, I want to be the developmental, but you, you don't, you don't lose, you don't suffer no. monetarily by losing no. these names. No, no, I don't. I, I, really, I really don't. I really don't feel that because when people tune in to, to, to tune in to watch the LFA, they, they might, they're not tuning in to watch, you know, Nick Newell, or they're, they're not, maybe sometimes they are, but at the end of the day, the reason people are tuning in to, to, to watch the LFA is they're tuning in to watch who the next superstars are. And, and most likely the next John Jones, the next Conor McGregor, the next Anderson Silva, the next Brian Ortega it is most likely going to come from the LFA because we're developing so much talent. So the reason people are tuning into the LFA is not for one particular athlete let's say, but they're tuning in because they want to see who the next big stars are. Kind of like back in the day when people used to watch the Friday night fights. You know what I mean? The, the, the guys would build up, they'd build them up through Friday night fights to the point where they build up their popularity that they make it onto a pay-per-view. And that's how we are. We're, 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 we're that organization where, where, where you're most likely going to see the next future superstars. And that's why our slogan is where the future is now. You can see the future superstars today. Ed, congratulations on this new deal. That's very exciting, and, and, and I'm happy that this is great news for the company and that you will continue to grow. Of course, also congratulations uh, to you, Ted, 
on uh, joining the MMA community. That's that's great for the business. That's great for the sport and the fighters. And also congratulations on, uh, as you mentioned, LFA being uh, nominated for promotion of the year and for you being nominated um, as a leading man in the sport. That is very well deserved. And I'll also mention that LFA is back uh, this Friday, May 25th, uh, with uh, LFA 40 on Access TV. Always a great broadcast. Always great to watch your shows, Ed. So again, thanks for coming on and uh, announcing this, and congratulations to everyone involved. Hey, thank you, Ariel, and also congratulations to you on the new position with ESPN. I know we've spoken for a long time that, you know, it was always a dream when you started doing this work for ESPN, so it's really nice to see you uh, kind of have that dream come true, and uh, I'm excited to see you there, and and I'm sure you're going to do a great job there. Thank you, Ed. I really appreciate it. Great to meet you, Ted. Uh, Thanks for coming on as well, and congratulations. Thanks so much.